you see boss what do you do good uh, uh thank you lara this is uh, sean i'm the ceo of uc boss uh, we have built uh, a self-learning self-adapting uh, semantics uh, platform for supply chain uh, which can learn uh, disparate systems and and allow the enterprise to have a unified uh, logical data model uh, and bringing in the interoperability uh, between all the systems uh, with 100% no code and 100% no SQL and you're talking about solutions in days or weeks. What is no SQL? Good, great question, right? Define uh, no SQL for Define no SQL, okay. The SQL is, you know, you know that's the traditional paradigm of uh, relational databases, right? The beauty of relational databases is it's structured, right? Uh, but, but the disadvantage is you cannot build a semantics or ontology for your business. You cannot bring outcomes faster. No SQL is unstructured. It's been there in the industry. The power of no SQL is that's the only way to build context, uh, business context around your data that means you can build learning systems and solutions, which brings out outcomes, the supply chain excellence that we are looking for, digital experience you're looking for, 10 times faster. Okay. Speed is the answer. Okay, what is an ontology? So let me start with semantics then. So semantics is, is bringing a common meaning, right? If you, if you take an example of supply chain, uh, you know, people call it a case, a carton, a pack, a sub pack, an inner pack, and blah, 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 blah right? So, so you need a common meaning that is semantics. Then you connect all the semantics for your business together. That's an ontology. Without that, you cannot solve the disruptive problems faster. So for example, I work with Hershey, they sell their products eight places in the store, and each means something very different depending upon where it is, which would tie to a different decision platform for merchandising or category management. So something like an each, something like, you know, what is, you know, a pallet, what is, you know, a shipment, you know, have different context based upon what we're doing. But an ontology, building an ontology, requires a different skill set, right, Sean? Yep. What is the difference between integration and interoperability? In the traditional sense, integration is just, you know, point to point. You're just moving data from one place to another, just uh, translating it. But, but that does not have business context. You can't build policies and procedures around it. You can't put business rules around it, right? Interoperability is, you as an IT user or business user sitting and determining, you know what, my problem chain that I want to solve is across warehousing, transportation, pricing, procurement, customer centric, right? If you're talking about customer centric, dynamic segmentation, right, customer promise reliability, lineage visibility, then you need interoperability between all your systems, all your vendors, contact manufacturers, everybody. That's what interoperability is. And Sean, you talked about a unified data model. What does that mean? It's in your organization. If, if you're a large enterprise, you may have various ERPs, various supply chain systems, you know, thousands of, uh, uh, you know, suppliers and vendors, right? So there is no way a single rigid uh, relational data model can make you integrate and bring in the data and make sense out of it as insights, right? So you need a unified logical data model. It has to be logical. Only if you build that model, then after that, you can talk to any vendor, any customer, any type of business, right? Today, it could be one type of uh, business fulfilling, uh, you know, one type of inventory. And tomorrow, all of a sudden, uh, COVID happened, you want to, you know, uh, distribute PPE. It's possible in a unified data model. Sean, what's the one piece of advice you have for the audience? It's time for, you know, both IT and, and business to shield your people from technology because they cannot become an expert in the new technologies in the short amount of time. That means you still have to embrace with new technologies, adapt to it faster, but shield it from the technology so that you can just operate on technology as a business user than as a technical user. That way, right, you are bringing in, you know, the way you brought in cloud, right? You brought in cloud, you are not becoming cloud experts. You just learn to operate on cloud. Likewise, operating on voice. Likewise, you have to learn to operate on NoSQL, blockchain, other things without becoming an IT shop.